imagine being able to reach Cornerbrook from St. John's in 30 minutes. Sounds far-fetched, but an increasingly popular theory is being put to the test with a group of students from Munn who are at the forefront of this technology. NTV's Ryan Harding with more. So this is where the air will actually feed from the tanks down through a piping network to the skates, out the bottom of the skates, and then it will float on that air cushion. A team of engineering students have been working on what experts believe to be the fifth mode of transportation, Hyperloop. You can envision it like a, a train, except it's floating on pressurized air. And so you have this tube, and the train, and, the, and this hyperloop travels through the tube, and the tube is highly depressurized. And so if you have little air in the tube, then you have less aerodynamic drag. And what that translates to is extremely high velocities. Picture an air hockey table. The train moves through the tube much like the puck sweeps across the cushion of air on the playing surface, only at a staggering top speed of 1,100 kilometers an hour. So what that means, if you were to put it in Newfoundland and connect Cornerbrook to St. John's, you would make the trip in about 30 minutes. Open Loop is comprised of 16 MUN students who have teamed up with five other universities, including Princeton and Cornell, to design a Hyperloop pod. MUN was responsible for the air supply system, so basically we use the stored scuba tanks that feed through a set of regulators that give us air at our skates that basically gives that cushion to float on. The team brought their pod design to Texas A&M last week and were selected from 700 schools to build and test this brand new technology in California this summer. For us, I think that's the most exciting part, is that this has never been done before. It's on the parallel to the first time it's an airplane would have been tested. 20 years down the road, 40 years down the road, you might be able to say if Hyperloop does take off, which it looks like there's a strong possibility it will, that we were the first ones to actually test this technology. So, so far, Munn's portion of Open Loop's work has been done right here on campus in St. John's. However, the majority of the building will be done in Michigan before the stage is theirs in California. Ryan Harding, NTV News.